This is Richard Morley with Maple Systems. This video will cover data logging and real-time and historical trend graphs. The data logger is used to record the value of tags over time. The collected data is stored in the HMC 7000 internal non-volatile memory. This data can be displayed in four ways. Graphic format on the HMC using the historical trend object, uploaded to a computer using MapWare 7000, printed on an attached serial printer, or stored to an attached USB flash drive as a CSV file. Some factors that will affect data logging are memory available and backup methods. For more information about these factors, see the data logger chapter of the HMC 7000 programming manual. First, create the tags to be logged. For this example, the tags named data0 through data9 have already been created. To define the data to be logged, click on the data logger from the project tree. Increase the number of groups from 0 to 1 or more. Once a data group has been created, the data group will be listed in the groups frame. Up to four data groups can be created. Click on each group to edit the group attributes. Each group has a data type field. The data type options are 2 byte int, 4 byte int, and 4 byte float. This option applies to all data groups created and determines how the data logger will interpret the data collected. Only tags that are configured with the selected byte length in the tag database will show in the defined tags box. The defined tags list displays all of the tags available in the tag database which are the same size as the data type selected in the general section such as 2-byte integers. When a tag is highlighted and the Add button is pressed, the selected tag is placed in the Tags to be Logged list. The Tags to be Logged list shows the tags that the selected data group monitors and records. A maximum of 30 tags is allowed per group. To remove a tag from this list, simply highlight the tag, then click the Delete button. The highlighted tag is removed from this list and placed back into the defined tags list. Deleting a tag from this list does not delete the tag from the tag database. The memory size is the selection of how much data is allocated to all of the logging groups. This setting must be selected dependent on how much data needs to be recorded. However, any memory allocated to the data logger reduces the amount of memory available for the rest of the project. To find the memory usage breakdown, go to Tools, Application Memory Status. The logging mode determines how and when the HMC collects data. Each group can have a different logging mode. There are six options for the logging mode. PowerUp collects data immediately after the HMC is initialized. Start and Stop Time is used to collect data during a specific time every day. Key task logging mode uses function keys on the bezel of the HMC to start and stop data logging. Logging with runtime frequency captures data on a time base determined by the current value in a 16-bit register. This feature allows a variable sampling frequency operation. This mode is only available for group 1. When using the bit task data logging function, the start and stop of data collection is controlled by four predefined system bits. When using the event-based data logging, data logging is controlled using a logging bit, which is an HMC internal bit configured in the task database. An external PLC bit cannot be used for this function. The data is captured based upon the logging bit changing state. There are four methods that can be used to see data collected by the data logger. A historical trend graph displays values recorded by the data logger over the specified time. The data is displayed as a line graph. Trend graphs are discussed later in this video. Upload to a USB flash drive allows the transfer of captured data to a USB flash drive attached to the HMC 7000 in a CSV comma separated format. See the HMC 7000 programming manual for more information about uploading the data via USB flash drive. Upload to the MapWare 7000 software allows the upload of collected data directly into MapWare 7000 as a CSV file. This CSV file can then be viewed using the Display Log Data option in the Tools menu. Print data to a serial printer will send log data to an attached serial printer. This function is set up in the data logger window. Connect and configure a serial printer to COM1 or COM2 of the HMC. 
See Chapter 5 of the HMC 7000 Programming Manual for more information. Create a data log group using the data logger. Once a data log group has been defined, the data to be printed can be configured by clicking on the Print Properties button in the Group Information tab of the data logger. Highlighting a group will display the Print Properties button. The highlighted group must have at least one tag in the to be log list. Each tag to be printed must be added to the Tags to be printed list by selecting the tag in the Log Tags list and adding it to the Tags to be printed list. For more information about the other settings on the Print Properties dialog, see the HMC 7000 Programming Manual. After configuring the format of the printouts, configure the period of time that is to be printed. This is done by clicking on the Start End Time Tags for Printing tab in the Data Logger. The start, end, date, and time settings determine what part of the collected data is to be sent to the printer based on the date and time recorded. The single day option is available only when logging with runtime frequency is selected as the logging mode. Enter the tag registers that determine the particular day of the data that is to be printed. During operation, the HMC will print a report of all data collected within the 24-hour period of the day selected when the start printing task is initiated. The more than one day option is used to print all data collected for the selected data group during a specified period of time. Rather than a single day worth of data, this option allows the selection of multiple days based on the values read from the tag registers assigned to the start and end dates. During operation, the HMC will print a report of all data collected within the period selected when the start printing task is initiated. After configuring how the printout will look and what portion of the captured data to print, the final step in setting up a printout of the data logger is to configure activation keys. These activation keys are used to start and stop printing. The keys can be function keys, either global or screen dependent, or touchscreen buttons using the multitask buttons. Create a function key or multitask button with the key's specific task start printing of group number and port number. This key starts printing the data log of the associated group to the configured serial port. Create a function key or multitask key with the key specific task stop printing of group number and port number. This key stops printing the data log of the associated group to the configured serial port. Trend objects are used to represent up to four target tag registers on an XY plot. The data is shown plotted against time. Trend objects can be found in the Advanced Objects menu. The Appearance section of the Trend properties control the color, fonts, labeling, and time span for the trend object. When the trend object is first placed on the screen, it is configured to plot only one tag. The number of tags can range between 1 and 4. Increasing the number of tags will show the extra sample plot lines. The tag to be plotted is selected using the tag address and tag name fields. The tag selected field will dictate which plot line properties will be shown. Changing the tag selected from tag 1 to tag 2 will show the tag associated with the second line to be plotted. The selected tag color can be adjusted to change the pen color that will be plotted on the trend object. Each trend pen can have a different color. The value scale properties control the minimum and maximum values used on the scale of the trend object. These values can be constants or use tags as variables. When tag is selected in the maximum or minimum fields, a tag address and tag name field appear. The value in the associated tag will dictate the value that will be used for the minimum or maximum. The number of grids field in the value scale properties section dictates how many horizontal lines are present in the trend graph. The number of grids field in the time scale properties section dictates how many vertical lines are present in the trend graph. In the Tag Attributes field, the Tag Selected field dictates which pen is being configured. When the pen desired is selected, choosing the tag name or address will then associate that tag with the pen. Each pen can have a different color. When using the Real-Time Trend Display, any tag may be selected to be plotted on the trend display. When using the Historical Trend Display, only tags that are associated with a data logger group can be selected for each pen. 
When using a historical trend, clicking on the start and end time tag field of the timescale properties will display the tags that determine the start and end of the timescale which is represented on the historical trend graph. More information about these tags can be found in the Data Objects chapter of the HMC 7000 Programming Manual. For more information about Maple Systems products and configuration, go to maplesystems.com.